want to walk or you want to jump? Why Allah has a leg? Your mind. These are the questions that I can apply to every religion, yeah, including Christianity. Yeah, these questions are meaningless. Why? Why? Christ, he have legs because he was a man. Ask me, no problem. He came to us as a man in the body of a man. Why he have a leg? Because he need to walk with it. Simple. Now Allah have a leg. Why? You might. So you're saying God the all powerful died on a cross. Are you saying that God died on a cross? You see, he will run away from the question. Christ, the one who raised people from death, even in your book, the cross means nothing for him. Because the one who has power over death, what a big deal if you kill him, if he is the life himself. He himself is the life. He said, I am the life and the resurrection. He said that. And even this is a proven in your book, he raised people from death. So imagine, imagine, you can raise people from death if somebody shoots you, what a big deal. You can come back to life. <laughs> what a big deal. Can you kill God? No, you cannot. And the proof is alive, even in your book. But you don't want to answer. Why Allah have a leg? Allah don't have a spirit, and he is not a spirit, and he have a leg. It means he is a status, because how the leg can be alive without a spirit, and the, it's, it is not a spirit, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a body. And by the way, the leg of Allah is made from beef, made from meat, silicon, plastic. What is the made of Allah, what, what is the leg of Allah made from, and why he needed? This is the most important thing for me. He is God. He is most powerful. Right? For me as a Christian, when I say Christ, he came to us as a man. Well, he did it in purpose because the word of God decided, God himself decided to come to us, show us his glory as a man. But here, in the case of Allah, he is a leg. He is not coming to you as a leg. He is a leg. This is his real shape. This is how he is. And in here we ask ourselves, why he need a leg? For what? Your mind. Did you just see what you just done? Yeah? You just, you just, you start saying how oh, God doesn't have a spirit and his leg must be independent and must be connected to something. These are the questions that I'm referring to. These are the questions that are meaningless. And now he's going to cut me off and start speaking. He hasn't, but I'm surprised. But I understand. And I was asking about Muhammad Abdul something. I don't, I can't understand you. Sorry. Your mic. I don't know, Shajabi. Where is the answer? I said, I said, why Allah have a leg? Do you have an answer? He is God. He is in heaven. What the leg is for, you know, when, you, when somebody has something, he, he, you know, he have it to use it. Correct, guys? Why we have tongue? To speak. Why we have eyes? To see. Why we have ears? To hear. Why we have legs? To walk. Very simple. Why Allah have legs? Actually, he have only one leg. By the way, he have one or two. Oh, my. Yeah, I answered by saying we don't care, basically. Yeah, God said there's nothing like him. He has a leg. You don't care or you don't dare to answer? What do you mean you don't care? This is your God. You don't care about his God, guys. They worship a leg and they don't care. It's a leg, so what? We worship a leg. They bow down five times a day for a leg. They bow down for a God who is a leg. Why you do that? You mind? Um, what's his name? Junker Jim 
you don't know what you're talking about. He was he's not the Egyptian Mufti. And uh, as for Christian Prince, uh, no, no, I did not say. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying we don't dare to answer. Okay, it's, it's not about that. It's the thing is, we don't care for these questions because they don't mean anything to us. I'll go back to the other verse. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care for those questions, or because you don't have an answer. Be honest with me. Come on. How come this question exactly you don't care for it? Okay, let me ask you a question. Did your prophet say that Allah has five fingers? Is that true? He has five fingers? Yes or no? You don't John tells Jim, stop trying crap. Because what he's saying is actually rubbish. It does not make sense at all. And he was not even in Egypt. He was in he was in, he was in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. That's uh, that's uh, that's Muhammad Abdul Wahab, not Muhammad Abdul. Christian Prince, listen, yeah. We when I say I don't care, not because I don't dare, not because I don't have an answer. The thing is, this is this is how a Muslim does it. Look at me, yeah. I as a Muslim, yeah. I believe God created me, yeah, to worship Him. Why? That's that's just okay. Just basically, nothing, okay. Allah created me to worship him. He has a leg, he doesn't have a leg, he has a hand. What is it connected to? Does he have a spirit? These are meaningless questions that do not contribute towards the worship that was created for. No, 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 no. You cannot say you don't, you don't, you don't care because Allah himself, he told you you have hands, you have legs. This means he told you for a reason, right? Because he wanted you to know how he looked like. Now, you cannot answer. You know what? I'm going to change the topic just to make you happy. We heard that Allah cannot have a son because he never had a girlfriend. Is that true? That Allah cannot have a son because he do not have a girlfriend? You might. Can you please clarify? Allah said he does not have children. Allah was he didn't give birth and no, neither was birth given to him. And he said, And he never had a girlfriend. And actually Allah, he says, How am I going to have a son if I never have a girlfriend? Is that true? You're mine. Which verse are you referring to? Are you telling me you do not know? I thought you just quote him from there. So Muslims, they remember what they like, they forget what they want. Open chapter 6, verse 101. And chapter 72, verse number 3. Let me give you the first one. Badiyo is samawati wal art, anna yakuna lahu waladun, walam takun lahu sahiba, etc. Read it. How he will have a son when he never have a girlfriend. It's not me who's saying that. So Allah is saying to us that he have a penis. Because if he have a girlfriend, he will have sex. And then he will have a son. Why he don't have a son? Because he didn't have a girlfriend. What he would do with a girlfriend, guys? What Allah will do with the girlfriend if he have a girlfriend? He will have sex with her. Then he can have a son. No mind. And again, this is chapter 6, verse number 101. And this is the link. Who want to see the link and save it in your reference if you want. No mind. Allah don't have a girlfriend. We need to find him one. Go ahead. Uh, before, before Christian Prince allow me to speak to John Kajin, he says he was not the founder. Sir, I don't care what he's saying. You, you are talking to me. Forget about anyone in the room. Concentrate to them, please. Now we are concentrating in the penis of Allah. When Allah, he says, how I'm going to have a son if I don't have a girlfriend, it's mean he have a penis. It's mean if he have a girlfriend, he will have sex with her, and then he will have a son. Oh my. 